to the part 2 of introduction to finite element analysis in this part we would be talking about the advantages of finite element analysis and its applications along with different softwares which are used uh, to carry out finite element analysis the advantages uh, these advantages will be closely linked to the steps that we already discussed in our first part we can very clearly see that in this case we in finite elements we perform domain discretization and because of this domain discretization we can model very complex geometries and even irre irregular shapes For example, if my domain is very complex like this, we can discretize it into number of elements and then we can try to solve it, solve the governing differential equation over each element. The next advantage is that we can also incorporate the boundary conditions very easily in finite elements and the next advantage is that we can very easily accommodate Okay, we can also accommodate material properties which vary between elements and even within an element. For example, say we have a bar and this bar is made out of different materials. Say this is copper, this is aluminium, this is magnesium. So we can divide it in such a way that we can divide some, we can divide these different segments as different elements. Say we can put it as one first element this is my second element this is my third element and so on similarly even if I'm considering this as a single element we can still incorporate these by assuming the form of the variation of material properties say Young's modulus so we can assume that there is a linear variation over this element of the Young's modulus or a quadratic variation so on and so forth as we saw for uh, our unknown variables in part 1 next advantage is that we can even apply higher order elements for greater accuracy this higher order element simply means that we can approximate the we can we can assume that our uh, unknown variable is varying over an element say it is a constant or it is linearly varying over this element or it is quadratically varying over this element Thus, as we move, as we go on increasing the order of the polynomial from constant to linear to quadratic, we are saying that we are going up to a higher order element. Next advantage is that finite element method is simple, it is compact, result oriented and it can be implemented in computer programming
in computers and why this is the case it is because we have clearly defined the steps in finite element analysis we don't have to make a priori assumptions next advantage is that there are a large number of software packages which are available to carry out finite element analysis some of these software packages most popular of them are one is a bacchus ansys comsol ls dyna and one is open form and there are many more softwares to carry out finite element analysis next advantage is the we can solve variety of problems using finite element analysis for example structural mechanics heat transfer electromagnetism fluid mechanics problems acoustics and so on here we come to an end of the introduction to finite element analysis if you have any feedbacks or any questions please comment thank you